Hi, it's Miss Donna, and this month's sensory play is all about bubbles. You guys all know Miss Donna is all about bubbles. Well, of course, you guys can go the traditional route. This leaf blower I bought last Easter, it is amazing and so much easier than blowing those little wands. Any of you that have been to my rhyme time all know my little bubble machine. These things, I've had it for almost five years now, guys, and all I've ever done is change the batteries. It's amazing. Usually anywhere between $15 and $30, depending upon how big you want to go, how many bubbles you want. They're easy. Walmart has them on their shelves right now, or at least they did yesterday when I was there. Regular bubble solution is always fun, no matter what we're using. Which of these ideas I'm using today, you can always use just the traditional one that you buy. But I want to show you some really cool things that you can make without these. Ones you make at home. Are you ready? Okay. Switch screens here and I'm going to show you a really cool one. Now, this first one is actually taste safe. Okay. What well, kid doesn't eat bubbles? And I know they don't really hurt them, but the idea that it really would be good is okay. In here, there is a tablespoon of cream of tartar, okay? That's our first ingredient. Our second ingredient, and the reason they're taste safe, is the juice off of a 15 ounce can of garbanzo beans or chickpeas, whichever way you know them. That's what's in this little cup here. We're gonna put it in here. Now, let the fun begin. You use your electric mixer, or I guess you could use a whisk too if you're really strong. But, let's see if this is gonna work this time. It worked earlier. Maybe, might be my plastic bowl. I don't recommend using a plastic bowl, but, Oh, there it goes. All right, you see how that's working? You're gonna get a nice foam. This foam is gonna keep getting thicker the longer we do it, but since we only have a short video here, we're gonna quit. Now, that's kind of a pretty yellow. However, if you would rather it be another color, Trusty liquid. There we go. There's our. Oh, well, now that was fun. Food coloring. And let's see if we can get some blue foam here before I quit with this one. Oh, there it goes. Look at that. Now, once you spend a little more time mixing this up, you can just put it into a dish. You can. Let them play with it in this one. You can also wait and do the food coloring when you're done and divide it into small bowls and make several different colors. All depends on what you want to do that day. You can put it outside. You can put down a mat. You can give it to them in the tub. Put down a, a plastic uh, tablecloth. Great way to do this one. Okay, so we're going to switch out here and do a little more traditional bubble here. Now, what makes this bubble special is you're going to use bubble bath, okay? And you're going to use a little bit of light corn syrup. And that helps the bubbles to be a little firmer when we add our warm water. And once again, we are going to use our beaters. Give me just a second here to clean them up. Sorry, only small kitchen here, only have one set of beaters. <laughs> All right, let's go. Now, look at those bubbles. Oh, and I don't know about you, wish you had smell-o-vision, but this smells wonderful. Almost like apples. Oh, look at that, there we go. Once again, this is just plain white foam. You can give them cups, bowls, spoons, 
whatever you want to do. And I'm not going to food color this, but you could divide it into sections and add your liquid food coloring and they would have all kinds of play time. You can bury things in it. Maybe you want them to dig in the ocean, make it blue, whatever you want. Really quick and easy inside the house bubbles. Once again, put a mat down or a plastic thing because you really don't want them all over your house. Yeah, not really. Okay, let's try one more thing here, guys. One thing I like to do, and we've done this here at the library, if you guys have been to some of Mr. Eric's and my program, is to make snake bubbles. Now, we do this at our outdoor summer fun. I hope you guys will come see us again. Now, in my little thing here is Dawn, good old blue dish soap, okay? And a little bit of sugar is going to help those bubbles last a little longer. Now, here we go. You can do either a solo cup with a straw. I just took a washcloth, cut it into fours, got a big fat rubber band, everybody can see that. Or something we all have probably around our house, water bottle, soda bottle, chop the end off. Once again, a quarter of that same washcloth. Now, here we go. We're gonna soak it in there. Let's see if this is gonna work. Hmm. Let's try. All right, you guys ready? We're gonna try it. Here we go. Look at that, there's our snake. Look. And <laughs> now, these bubbles with that little bit of sugar makes them a little stronger, a little easier to catch. Once again, if you would like, if you want to color them, you can take your food coloring, just put a drop on the end of the washcloth. Now watch this. Look at that. Now, I do recommend doing this one outside, not in the house unless you're in the bathtub because they can get a little messy, but oh my gosh, they are so much fun. And on a windy day, they take off and they start blowing. It's bubble season, guys. Everybody needs to go out and play with their bubbles. I will have a sheet with several different recipes for you to try out with these for the chickpeas, the regulars, the snakes, and even some giant ones that you can maybe even catch on your hand, okay? I hope you guys have enjoyed our sensory play with bubbles. And I will be back to see you next month. And it's going to be a fun one. See you guys next time. Bye.